To this, the major announcement about Metro's longest ever shutdown is leaving riders with a ton of questions. Now, the plan is to fix 20 train station platforms over the course of three years. It's a $400 million project that will start next summer in Northern Virginia. WSA 9's Michael Quander went straight to WMATA looking for answers. Well, it's not what's on top, but what's underneath of people's feet. Deteriorating concrete that could soon become unstable or collapse. Well, rather than do it now, then wait for something drastic to happen. The platforms at Braddock Road, King Street, and Eisenhower Avenue stations will be replaced next year. Those stations, plus everything south of Reagan National Airport, will be shut down for all of next summer. That's 98 days from Memorial Day to Labor Day. I use it to go lots of places right now. So this is going to have an impact on you. Yes. You see, we had three main questions for WMATA. First, how long did Metro know this was a problem? A spokesperson told us that many of these outdoor stations have been exposed to the elements for more than 40 years. They say the concrete is nearing the end of its lifespan, and they've known this was an issue for quite some time. Metro has been waiting on recently promised dedicated funding to fix it. The tiles on the platform up there have been disintegrating for the last five or six years, and I wondered why they weren't being repaired. Next, with all of these known problems, are riders in danger? Well, WMATA says that it's put in temporary fixes at some stations. They've installed things like braces to prop up the platforms until they can be reconstructed. And just to be sure that's working, Metro is now inspecting the platforms every 90 days. Most of the stations that are used are the ones that they're going to be closing. Now, on an average weekday last year, more than 26,700 people combined boarded trains at the six stations that will be shut down. So that led us to our third question. How will thousands of people get to and from where they need to go? And to be quite honest, there is no plan right now. Still, Metro is working on a strategy to include local and express shuttle buses using dedicated bus lanes and coordinating with other transportation agencies. In Alexandria, Michael Quander, WUSA 9. So what about if you're a commuter who uses Virginia Railway Express, those trains? Well, Metro says that service is not going to be affected because those trains use different platforms. The platform reconstruction plan is going to be presented Thursday at the Metro Board of Directors Committee meeting.